today we're going to talk about the top 10 diminished patterns in jazz. We really want to thank our Patreons who help support this channel by donating as little as a dollar a month and they get free perks along the way. Check out the link below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell to get updates about future videos. Today I'm really excited to talk about the top 10 diminished patterns in jazz. The diminished scale is really the bread and butter of jazz playing. It was used extensively by Louis Armstrong, Sidney Bechet, Duke Ellington, and Charlie Parker up to the modern players today. It has a lot of beauty and functionality to help navigate chord changes. Sometimes the concept patterns in jazz can get a bad rap because it seems like we're just being robots playing these patterns. But what these patterns enable us to do is to develop smooth connections in our jazz soloing. We want to be able to move up and down the horn effortlessly in any key. And these diminished patterns really help us do that. It's something that's embraced by the whole jazz community, from the more traditional players to the most modern players. The diminished chord itself has dissonance to it. It gives us a sense of wonder about what's to come next. It's often used in movie scores to increase the drama and the sense of uneasiness. This makes it a perfect sound to resolve to either a major or minor chord. The diminished scale is based on a diminished chord, or we call them diminished sevenths, which is a set of four notes, all exactly three half steps away. You can also think of them as one and a half whole steps away. Because we only have 12 notes in the chromatic scale, we actually only have three sets of diminished chords. Because by the time you get to the fourth one, it's just repeating the first one. What the diminished scale is adding one note that's a half step below each diminished seventh. So we're adding another set of four notes, eight notes total. Now because the scale is simply symmetrical just like the chords, we're only going to have three scales total. This makes it really economical to play these scales up and down the horn and they can be used in a variety of situations. One of the reasons why the diminished scale is so useful because it fits perfectly over the dominant seventh chord. If you want to improvise over a concert B flat dominant seventh chord, you want to use the B flat diminished scale starting with the half step. As you can see, the diminished scale hits all the important notes of the dominant seventh chord, including the third, fifth, and the seventh. The half step, whole step structure to the diminished scale makes it great for playing lines in 4 4 time, and it also lends itself well to a tongue slur jazz articulation. I've made a list of some of the great diminished patterns that I've used over the years. Many of them were taught to me by so many great jazz musicians, including Joe Temperley and James Moody, who were both my teachers. If you go to our website, peterandwillanderson.com, you can find the full written out list of all these patterns in all keys, the full range of the saxophone. Just go to the solos tab and under exercises, you'll see it. I'm going to play excerpts from each pattern so you can hear the way they sound, but I encourage you to go to the link and download the free PDF. Whenever you're playing your patterns, don't forget to use a metronome and articulate like you're playing jazz. Okay, let's get to the list. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. 
Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. And for good measure, how about number 11? When you work on these, definitely don't rush through them. Use a metronome and only play at a speed that you're comfortable with. Eventually, the more and more you play them, you won't need to use the music, and I really encourage that. You want to be hearing these patterns in your head and not relying on the printed notes. Since all of these are using the same scale, it's going to be easier than you think. I really hope you enjoy these and I guarantee you it's going to make your soloing better. Thank you so much to our Patreons who keep this channel going by donating as little as a dollar a month. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and comment and hit the notification bell. We'll see you next time.